phone, it's actually this phone, rang. It was my mother, bless her, who actually rang up to wish me a happy birthday. And I remember saying, explaining where I was and what was going on. And I was heading towards this town called uh, Debagar down the road near Kirkuk. And the Americans were above us. And I lifted the phone in a sort of ironic, jokey way. He said, this is, mum, you can just hear, this is the sound of freedom. And I lifted the phone up just like this. And I just exactly at that moment, what was a huge enveloping noise suddenly roared and bang, huge bang. The missile landed only 10 yards from us. I even saw it as it hit. Some of my clothes had been ripped off by the blast. The ammunition and rockets and the wrecked cars started exploding. Not only that, the American planes were circling again, while the soldiers tried desperately to call them off. And I just got behind one of the banks over there, bedded myself in, when I realised that I still had the phone on. And my so mother was listening? My mother had listened to the whole thing. And I just remember... And you didn't use bad language? I'm sure I didn't use bad language. She, she, she heard me shouting. There were bodies everywhere. I counted 15 and more died later. Dozens of people were injured. Not somebody in the back of our vehicle. No, it's not. I can't find Cameron. That was when we realised that our translator, Cameron Abdul Razak, was missing. Yeah, there's Cameron lying down on the grass. We and the American medics worked for some time to try to save him. And Cameron uh, must have been blown, we think. Uh, this is painful stuff for all of us here, but um, he, his body landed up on that uh, bank of earth there, and I'm afraid you can see uh, uh, the blood. But in spite of everything we could do for him, Cameron Abdul Razak died soon afterwards. He told me he wanted to work for us out of friendship and adventure. He was 25 years old. And I also took a, a piece of shrapnel in the back here somewhere. I, it's in the armour plating here, right over my spine. I, want, I know it's a bit voyeuristic, but Craig, could you pull it out? Go. There we are. Right in the middle of the... Right in the middle. Right where the spine is. Turn it over because it makes a... Uh, well, you can't... Uh, oh, yeah, so you've got to see it inside. Uh, yeah. cover. That's it. Tip it, it up for me. Tip it up. That's, That's it. I must say, I've never appreciated them. I've always disliked them. I've, I've taken them off whenever I can. I take the armour plating out, contrary to all instructions. Never again. Believe me. Never again. I'm going to sleep in bed at night with this thing from now on. One man put his finger on the button and pressed it without perhaps proper care and attention and because of him 18 people and perhaps more to come uh, have died, 45 were injured, lives of hundreds of people, relatives and friends have been wrecked and ruined and spoiled and all for a little patch of earth that no one's even heard of.